Good morning and welcome to Vlogmas Day 9. yesterday's vlogmas so like vlogmas day eight i am very very hungry so i'm gonna get some i'm gonna go and get some breakfast today i am going to stay in brighton because you know the other day when i was like let's have a work christmas party i wanted to fulfill that so i have booked a little hotel and we're gonna have it as if we're having it together which should be really fun and cute we can go and go to the beach explore um i'm very excited to just be by the sea i just love the sea wow we're basically the color of sea right now why is this so blue i need to do my advent calendar because that might help me determine what i want for breakfast because if if it's a good bon maman we might have we might have that for breakfast. 15th? Does that mean it's 10 days until Christmas? Oh my gosh, it's 10 days. This time in 10 days, we'll be opening up our stockings. No, that's actually crazy. That is actual madness. Nectarines, peaches, and citronella. What's that? And she's right. She suits, she scores. No, I had just opened up the toast and it's gone mouldy. That's not good. So I think we might have to have a re- Oh, maybe we should do a bit of Alpen. I think I'm gonna have to have Alpen. I mean, I do love Alpen, but I was kind of feeling some toast with some of my bon mamans. But you know what we say? If 2021's not taught us anything, it's taught us to adapt and overcome. Adapt and overcome, I say. Yes. I don't know what is wrong with me at the moment. I'm going through a real, real, clumsy phase i'm just forgetting everything dropping everything my brain is i'm having a scattered brain moment hi guys it's been a busy morning i have been filming a video so i have been mia it's currently 12 o'clock now busy busy and i need to go to the supermarket because i have to film a little brand thing for grack snacks so i need to get the supplies in the supermarket i've also done two wash loads absolutely smashing through the to-do list i want to get all my bits done before i go to brighton so i can just chillax max and enjoy the show so i'm gonna go to tesco now and get all the bits that i need maybe get something for lunch <laughs> we'll see Uh, I refuse to buy an extra bag if I don't need to. So I literally had that bag full and I had to carry all of this out in my hands. But we managed to also, look at this. How clever is the Smarties packaging? Isn't that cool? I'm really impressed. Um, anyway, let's go home, have some lunch and then continue our agenda. Sorry, I'm home, but the dishwasher, not the dishwasher, the washing machine is popping off. But I got this for my lunch and some tiger bread. But it goes out of date on Christmas Eve! Girls me so much joy! Beautiful scenes. So I have just finished making a reel for a company that is crazy that I'm even getting to work with. I literally cannot believe it. Um, but that will be going up on Grack Snacks. I'll tell you when it's up because I slaved away just now for like an, an hour making it. But I need to edit it. I haven't edited it. I've just filmed it. But now I need to pack. I'm a little bit behind schedule. I did want to get to Brighton a lot earlier. But at the moment it's not looking like that because I have things that I still need to achieve on my to-do list. But I'm gonna pack, I reckon. You'll be able to see later when I get ready, but I've got a little dress there. What else do I need to pack? You know when you pack and then everything falls out of your brain that you should pack? Also, I have now made it the executive decision. Whenever I do travel, I do take new romper with me because I just cannot risk losing old romps because he's a bit of a legend and I would actually be devastated and i've just heard when i told you that story the other week in vlogmas about people's stuffed toys going missing in hotels it scared me so i mean as much as new romper although i am getting attached to new romper because he's so chubby and cute oh but then i don't want to leave little romper look at him ah let's pack our bag i have shown this before but this is like a travel backpack um it, i think it's from east pack or yeah it's from east pack and it is such a good travel backpack. It has so much room in it and it has like 
different section. You've got a laptop bit. Honestly, I love it. And it's got like hidden bits back here. So 10 out of 10 would recommend to a friend. But I've got all of my beauty bits in here. But the one I need to check, because I always forget, is toothbrush and toothpaste. And I have it. And look how cute this mini toothpaste is. It's too much. It is too much. So we've got all of that. Right, that's gone in. Pajamas going in there like so. Dress for tonight. You shall see. With tights. There we go. I mean, this is not exciting, is it? I'm going to be taking you through everything I'm packing. There's a little pigeon outside. I do really like pigeons. Is there a jelly cat pigeon? Because I feel like I need a jelly cat pigeon in my life. I think it would be so cute. Oh my gosh, I have to see right now. This is, <laughs> if there's a jelly cat pigeon, I'm gonna have to buy it. The thing is, I'm actually not a stuffed toy person. The only stuffed toys I like in my life are Romper and Romper Mark II. Um, but I think the jelly cat ones are just elite. My friend's baby has the leak and it's so cute. It's so cute, right. Jelly cat pigeon. Oh, there's not. There's a pheasant. Justice for the pigeons. Come on, jelly cat. Why do they not have a pigeon? Right, I am all packed. I am an overpacker, it can be said. But what I like about this is it's a rucksack because most of the time there's like travel bags, always like an over the shoulder one. And if I'm there, like darting about Brighton, I know I look like a turtle, I am aware of that, but <laughs> it's so massive. I don't want to be carrying something on my shoulder because I like to be hands free. That, that for me is, key to success and having a good day anyway i think we've done all we can do right now oh how cute brownie god sent me a little brownie hello so i'm in the car now and i think i am all sorted i think i've got everything i mean worst case scenario it's one night <laughs> so if i have forgotten something i can just do without it here in bright sun it's getting dark. I forget that it gets dark at like flipping three o'clock because it is actually three o'clock and it's already getting dark. Oh gosh, this is a tight car park. <laughs> Going the right way for a smack bottom. Is it? Right, come on, let's channel getting a parking space. We're getting, car We're getting a really good parking space, okay? Oh, that one's for electric vehicles. Oh, come on, parking space. We're gonna find one. Why is it so busy? What, why? That is really tight. Oh, should I give it a go? I'm doing it. I've got this. Right, Grace, believe in yourself. Because that's the place to start. Okay, that's it. Believe in yourself. I did it! Woo! Okay, we love to see it. So the hotel that I'm going to, they said that you couldn't check in until four, which I feel like is really late for a hotel. But I'm wondering if I go, drop my bags off, see if the room's ready. If it's not, I'll just carry my bag around. Um, maybe we can just sit on the beach. Also, I did bring my hat with me because does anyone else get such bad earache when um, their ears get cold? And I know by the sea, it's like really windy. Oh my gosh, it's the sea. I love it. Something about the sea air <laughs> just puts a smile on my face. We are here and the room is ready. I thought it would be because it's going to say four o'clock. It's quite like, oh, we're on the highest floor. This is fun. I don't be my eyes for all four. I think I've been upgraded. <laughs> this is mental. I'm confused. So I upgraded like the 30 pounds. I paid extra 30 pounds because they said if you want the nicer room, but they didn't say it was going to be this. What the heck? I've literally got, this is crazy. It's like, we're going to have to do a room tour because I feel like I'm in another world. Okay, so you come in and this is what you're greeted with. Come to the, what's this, right? And this is our little bathroom, little bath, lovely little toilet, and then obviously all of the, the needs. This is the bedroom, little bit lovely. I love this lamp, very nice. What's here? And here we have the wardrobe. There's the robe. I need a robe. Where's my robe? There's normally a robe. Where's the robe? There's no robe. There's always a robe. I know that even when I stayed in the cheaper room, there was a robe. 
you will know my concern if there's not a robe. Interesting. Okay. This is fine. We can deal with no robe. I didn't look at the snacks. What snacks have we got here? Okay, we've got some shortbread, some tea. Okay, and also this little teapot kettle is a little bit cool. How cool is that? I've never seen anything like it before. Also, look how flipping big this bed is. What the heck? So we're off to Happy Mackey, but I'm also going to stop by some shops like another store. Wait, I don't think they have another the stories. Oliver Bonus. I also think I'm going to stop by Lush and see if there's a little bath product to use. Stop it. No, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. Sounds perfect. Obviously, if you're in Brighton, an essential place to visit is HomeSense. And I had such a good browse. Honestly, the weirdest little thing. These are little bath droplets, so you can make the bath smell exactly as you want it to. I was so tempted, but I didn't, I restrained. I popped into this little Mexican place that my friend recommended to me one time when I came, and it was really good, but they had no tables available, <laughs> which is a bit sad. So I'm gonna aim for Happy Mackey still, but one of them has closed for the moment. So I'm gonna go for the other one um, and yeah. see if they have it. been browsing the shops for quite some time as you can tell because it is now really dark. I've been trying to hunt for um, Happy Mackey because obviously it's shut down. So I've been trying to hunt for a dinner spot and I've been trying to find places that I've never been before but for some reason um, everywhere is like fully booked I guess because it's close to Christmas so we may just have to go for Happy Mackey and see how it goes. Honey, I'm home and I managed to, I just had a great browse. It's a lot later now because I've shut the curtains and everything because it's really, really dark. Um, and I'm, I'm not gonna lie, right? The premise and the idea was that I was gonna get dressed up and we we're gonna go out to eat and all that jazz. However, I found obviously Happy Mackey. They've opened a new one. So I was kind of intrigued to try. So I've got all the food and I've brought it back here. We're gonna have like an indoor movie night. All right, a fun party for me and you guys. Thanks for supporting me along the road. Um, and I've actually got all the food here, so I'm gonna set up. I even bought a drink. Now, obviously we know I don't normally like it. I don't normally like drinks. They're always just, they're too much. However, this is like one of the only drinks in my top five that I like. This one from Itsu, which is peach and lychee. And for some reason, it just hits the spot. Oh, I've just gone in the fridge. They've blooming given me, I don't know anything about alcohol, so I want to say white wine. So, I'm going to start off. Do you want some drink? I'm just going to have this, if I'm honest with you. But I am going to, oh, there's a light. Yeah. Oh, that's really bad lighting, but we might just have to roll with it. Oh, that's awful. I'm going for the wine glass, because heck, I can do whatever I want. So for my startup, right, I went to Happy Mackey. And I was gonna, I really, really have been craving the sweet potato chips that Happy Mackey do. Sold out. I was like, classic. Um, and then I thought, what goes with my main? And I thought gyoza. So I just swung by Itsu and I got some vegetable gyoza. And then we've got the dipping sauce. It smells like Nutella. That looks more like Nutella. Um, I was gonna get, I saw in, in Home Sense, which by the way, I love the Home Sense in Brighton, off the charts. They have these like bath drops for kids and you can make the flavours exactly what you want. Such a flipping good idea. Anyway, I'm just living my best life. I really am. Cheers to 2021. The year that was rough on all of us, hey. We did it. We actually got through 2021. If you're like looking back and thinking, oh, I haven't achieved anything this year, blah, blah, blah. Sorry, babes. Don't be harsh on yourself. You literally have survived a pandemic mentally and physically so i think you need more credit give yourself more credit because it's been a rough year and just being able to get through it is enough quite frankly i am so i haven't had this i think exactly in half a year i got the i think it's called like the avocado kiss yeah it's called the avocado kiss i am so ready for this mm. a little bit of soy oh 
I think it's soy and vinegar. Oh, it's even, yeah. I am currently, I've just finished my dinner and I'm currently watching Saffron and Anastasia's gift swap. You know how it'd be. Every Christmas, gotta watch it. Um, and then for dessert, I have, by the way, that's not me farting. It's the, the chair, I promise. I went for a chocolate mousse. I really wanted to find a chocolate fudge cake, but I feel like you have to be in a restaurant to have that. So I thought, let's let's go for the chocolate mousse. Although it's, it's not as moussey as I thought it would be. Hmm. I just like the texture of mousses. I think they're so fun. Anyway, I'm gonna carry on watching this as I have my mousse. I have my zinzins and I think it's time for a bath. I think it is. That would be just perfect right now. And I actually got in town. <laughs> I got this little kit um, because obviously I was gonna get the bath bomb, but then I was like, you know what? I, I couldn't find much, if I'm honest. I couldn't find it. And I was walking around and I just, I went into Home Sense and I saw this. Which, look how much is in there. This would have been loads. So this is a night in. And it's got loads of different masks, I think. Basically, one for every flipping part of the body. We've got, I feel like this was such good value. This was £12.99. This smells so good and looks so inviting. And I realised that this eye mask is chill mode. So I'm going to try the chill one. I just hope that I don't get allergic reaction because... I got really sensitive skin. You just put it on like that, right? That literally feels so nice. I'm gonna buy these all of the time. Why have I never bought this before? I'm taking these guys off. I wanna actually see if they do anything. Has that? I don't know, I feel like my bags are even bigger than normal. Oh, <laughs> wait, has it? Has it? I don't know. Hi, I just had probably a spiritual encounter in that bath because it was so electric. And now I'm going to pop these guys on because I can do that in the bath in case they got wet. But these little moisturizing gloves, it says there's no need to rinse. Oh, apparently they get warm. What the heck? This is, this is really futuristic. Okay. <laughs> That's so weird. Okay, I'll see you when I've done them. I can't obviously vlog because I'll need to put this one on now. Because I don't know what to do. I've paused my video with my nose because I'm stuck. I can't, I can't, because I've got no hand to unpeel the sticker and I've really stuck it on there. So I'm literally stuck. I'm going to have to call the concierge. I d I'm never getting my hands back. <laughs> I'm Ow, That's, that, that hurts. I shouldn't have done it so blimmin' tight. Hang on. Oh, 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 we've done it. Okay. Hopefully my, my hands will look 10 years younger. Do you think they look younger? Beautiful. Okay, just get it on the neck. Heck, why not? It's the next stage of our night and um, I'm restarting my laptop because it's not connected to Wi-Fi. Hoping the Wi-Fi's gonna work so we can watch a film or something and maybe a Christmassy one because I have the best film accompaniments, salted popcorn, and minstrels. Minstrels don't get enough airtime. I think they're great. So I'm gonna hopefully be able to watch a film. I'm hoping. So I just called my family and I was telling them that I was doing my work at Christmas party. And they were like, are you doing all the like secret Santa photo booth? Um, what else is, oh, like a toast. And I was like, what a plonker. No, no, I'm, I haven't done that. So tomorrow, out, cause technically we're like staying overnight. So tomorrow I'm gonna to get myself a secret Santa present and I'm gonna insert that in here. Look to spin. Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's spinning around, it's spinning around. Who's it gonna be? Oh, it's so... I have a winner. It's flipping the hardest person ever to buy for. It's Jesse. <laughs> He's so hard to buy for. The only thing that boy likes is fishing things, honestly. Fishing things and, oh, I suppose food, but I feel like food's a cop out. Oh, the Secret Santa that is, what budget should I give myself? Should I give myself a £10 budget? Is that like a normal Secret Santa budget? Yeah, right, I'm gonna, so annoying, what a charming dodger. He's such a charming dodger getting a present from me. He's already had presents this year. Anyway, that's not the vibe. Also, I feel like, isn't it at work Christmas party you do some dancing? So should I put some music on and do some Christmas dancing? <laughs> Enough of that. Let's go into town and find a present for J-Dog. 
I know Jessie likes a lot of the bits and Urban Outfitters, so I started there, but there was nothing for £10, understandably. And then I found these Uggs, which were reduced to £45, and I was so tempted. But I withheld my excitement because I already have a pair of them, so I didn't need them. And then I thought maybe a game, Cranium, such an underrated game. I used to, that used to be my favourite game as a kid, so good. I then thought, well, if only I could afford a Rolex, because literally Jesse says it all the time. He's just like, great, when you get me a Rolex, that's his thing. Um, and then I thought this little avocado tree, but the problem is the avocado tree was the full budget, and the same with this little fun wine top planter thing. I know that Jesse likes, he likes looking after things, so I felt that that would be fun, but it was a whole budget, so I just thought no. And then again, I went back to the idea of games. I went into Tiger because I thought Tiger would have something, because Tiger is like CEO of having those weird little niche things. Hello, Banksy. She's just joined me, if you can hear, ruffling around in the duvet. And then I went into Waterstones to try and find a book. And I found this book for Jesse, which I thought he would love because he loves a good little novel. But it was £25. It was not part of the budget. And then I thought maybe some socks. I was really struggling, if I'm honest. Okie doke, cherubs. We managed to eventually find something for J-Dog. It was hard. He's a hard nut to crack. And I don't know if I've done... Um, well for him. It is a bit rogue. It is, I'm not gonna lie. And it looks like nothing. This is the problem with skincare. It's so expensive for what seems like nothing. But he's always complaining about having like tired eyes and because he does shift work, he obviously doesn't get much sleep. So I found this, which is a super hydrate is eye serum. Lightweight but intense moisture to revive tired eyes which was the budget, <laughs> which seems random, but hey, he doesn't even know he's getting a present, so he can't really complain, can he? But that's my secret sunset done. Need to go home and wrap it. That is the end of today's vlog. I hope you enjoyed. Come back on Sunday, the 19th, because I went to the breakfast buffet at the hotel, and you know it's always a good time when Grace gets to go to the breakfast buffet. I love you all loads. Peace out.